A bit more than two and a half weeks have passed since I ruptured my Achilles tendon and the work towards coming back better and stronger for the 2025 gravel race season has begun. I don't think I have ever been as inactive as I've been for the past two and a half weeks. The only kind of cardio I've done was a little bit of dancing at my wedding. And even though I was walking around with this stupid looking boot and on crutches, we still had the best day ever. So as mentioned, I've been walking around with this lovely boot for around two and a half weeks now. And yesterday I had my first checkup. I am on my way home after the first checkup of my Achilles tendon. It's not as, as healed as I would have liked it to be, but uh, it's not as bad as I feared it would be. Um, the tendon has reconnected, but it's still very, very soft. So we're gonna push the rehab stuff back a bit and also the weight-bearing stuff a bit. So I can start doing some exercises within the boots, start to activate the, the muscles in my lower leg. Normally by now I would have uh, been able to take the boot off and do some, some rehabbing. Uh, but uh, we're gonna go about it a bit slower. Uh, also my history regarding this Achilles tendon, taking that into to consideration. We have to be a bit more careful. Um, so yeah, first checkup done. I'll have the next one in a bit less than two weeks. So uh, hope things look a bit better by then. Counting on, it will be, it will look a bit better by then. So there's still a long way to go before I'll be back on the roads, riding my bike, unfortunately. I have to wear the boot for around another six weeks. And then there'll be lots of rehab, of course. Um, the leg will be very weak when I get the boot off to start off uh, so there's lots of uh, rehabbing to do by then I think realistically there's a chance that I can get outside and ride in around 10 weeks hopefully um, of course it would be nice before but I'm not quite sure that's possible um, of course I'll be able to ride inside before that uh, but um, yeah We'll have to wait and see how it goes. The exercise I've been given is to try and stretch out my foot even more and activate the calf muscle. I can actually feel it working in there, so I guess that's good news. But I also feel like it's time to start getting a bit of a sweat on, something I've been really, really missing. So today I actually went to the gym. Time for me to start moving uh, so right now i'm on my way to the gym and i'm gonna try to do whatever is possible with the, this leg and uh, hopefully get a bit of a sweat on that's something uh, i'm missing terribly at the moment so uh, yeah now i want to start moving i really want to give my tendon the rest it needed for the first few weeks and get past the first checkup. So uh, yeah, I feel like now it's time to, to start moving.
I guess this marks the first day of the comeback, in a way. Uh, that was actually really, really, really nice. Nice to get a bit of a sweat going. Don't know if you can see it, but I did sweat a bit. The workout actually went way better than I hoped for. It was awesome to get a bit of a sweat on and actually feeling my heart working just a tiny bit. Started out with around 10 minutes on the bike. Did some one-legged stuff, but actually most of the time I rode with the both legs, just placing the injured leg on top of a pedal and then just using the, the uninjured leg as, uh, as much as possible. Um, it went great, of course, we'll have to wait and see tomorrow. I'll be feeling if I have any pains or anything, but uh, so far I feel great. Then I went on to do some uh, mostly core exercises and also some strength exercises for, for the legs. Just a very, very light session today. I uh, just wanted to get in there, start moving and uh, of course tomorrow see how I'll be feeling so I can hopefully uh, go again. And uh, yeah, that's the start of the comeback. Until next one, see ya.